The core of the forehead brow lift is the glabella muscle. The muscle that pulls the eyebrow downward should be cut. Without this process, the effects of the forehead brow lift can barely be seen. Furthermore, by cutting this muscle, the glabella muscle is fixed and the recurrence is prevented. In order to remove glabella wrinkles, the glabella muscle must be cut. First, the strongest corrugator supercilii muscle fiber must be incised. The muscle you see here is the corrugator supercilii. This muscle's repetitive contraction creates glabella wrinkles. It is the glabella wrinkles main culprit. By using an electric cautery to cut the muscle, an endoscopic view of the surgery can be clearly secured. As this area's muscle is cut, the process of cutting the corrugator supercilii is finished. What you see now is the nerve. The dark red tissue is blood vessels. An advantage of endoscopic surgery is that this tissue is saved. In succession, the depressor cilii or the DS muscle is cut. This muscle is superficial compared to the corrugator supercilii. This muscle moves vertically. What you see now is the muscle. It is smaller and more whitish than the corrugator supercilii. It consists of two heads like the corrugator supercilii. The cutting method is the same as the depressor supercilii. Next, the preceptal portion of the orbicularis oculi muscle that wraps around the eye area must be cut. It is positioned above the DS muscle. Through the endoscope, can you see the muscle fibers? It is the muscle fiber of the preceptal portion of the orbicularis oculi muscle. The forehead brow lift is not a forcefully pulling surgery. Also for glabella wrinkle removal, this type of muscle is cut. Almost through research, glabella wrinkles are prevented. The amount of muscle cut depends on the patient's condition. About 50 to 80% is cut. All of it is not completely cut.